Okay, today I'm going to make an off-center goblet. Mike did one a while back, and I mentioned that I needed to try it, so I'm going to do that. Thanks, Mike. And I wanted to mention something else. There's been a couple couple of videos recently where where things have cracked, or or you know, uh, Mike or Alan was making a bowl and it had a couple of cracks in it, and I mentioned to him that to maybe maybe look at it just different differently you know even though it had a crack in it so i wanted to show you something i made this the picture's horrible but um i made this quite a few years ago and it was a, i was making a maple bowl and i cut into it a big chunk flew out of the side and i threw it in the pile and uh, a couple days later i was just kind of looking at it and so here i'll show you so those are just the legs but it was a maple bowl that I was was turning and a big old chunk flew out of the side of it there. So I was looking at it and it was a nice piece of wood and I didn't want to ruin it. So I decided to turn it into a vase. So even though something happens and it, a lot of times it does, maybe just look at look at things differently and you can still save save a nice piece and just turn it into something else. I just glued a piece of walnut on the top of it there, put a uh, glass tube in it and made a vase out of it all right so things happen all the time but maybe just just look at things a little bit differently and and you can uh, save it and uh, turn it into something nice but let's go ahead and get started okay i'm going to use a piece of pop that uh, piece of poplar i got and i don't want to mess up a piece of good wood on my first one but i just put a little shoulder down here a little tenon and uh then I just cupped out, cupped out the end a little bit and took my depth gauge down there to find out right where bottom was. So and I'm going to use uh, one of the little balls I made with that jig last week to give it some support. Put that in there. Okay, I watched Mike's video probably probably five times to see exactly how he did it. He put a mark on the the chuck here and then one on the on the piece of wood to make sure if something happened you line it right back up with that so I'm gonna do that so let's just I'm gonna take my uh, fingernail gouge and have the delay speed up at, at 1800 and then we're just gonna shape the cup a little bit here Parting tool for the stem. Go through this. I'm going to bring this bring this down. Back this off and throw it off center. Tighten it back down. And then uh, on the on the video he did he showed too, don't don't go above that sleeve, make sure it's still still locked on the sleeve. So then we bring our tailstock back out and make sure it doesn't hit, right? Alright, here's a moment of truth. right where it's at so that's that's right about on that line
Okay. There we go. It popped through. And I forgot. You, you need to sand this as you go. So I'll, I'll sand this up and then put it back on and uh, or straighten it back up and sand up this knuckle and, and the inside. I forgot, I forgot all about that. I got all, all excited. This is where where uh, and he was talking about it sand, sand as you go because when you line it back up you know although it's going to be really close it's probably not going to be exact you know exactly perfect and just get it get it right back on your line although that's pretty close okay i'll sand that up sanded it up and i put the ball back in it uh, mike used a tennis ball which was a great idea but i had that little little jig I used made a little one for it so now we move on to the next one it's all lined back up speed turn back up and then we just move on You could set a pair of calipers too to make sure the little stem was all the same, but I'm just going to kind of freehand it here. Eyeball it. Okay, so I'm going to sand that up and move down. Okay, just uh, pulled it back out. Now, I am not sure. I keep doing it on the same side, and I think Mike was doing it on the same side. So I'm not sure if you rock it the other way. No, maybe I'll try that on the next one. If you rock it the other way, it'll... it'll uh, Put the next one over here. I'm not sure how that how that will actually work. But you should probably find out, right? Tool. And that speeds back up back up to eighteen hundred. Make 
Mas ele quer zoar. Much easier to turn if the speed's up. Makes a much cleaner cut. Okay, and just put it back in there. And I keep using the, the same uh, teeth marks. Where, where the jaw was digging in each time and I don't know I'll have to play around with it if you if you move it move it less or more what it's going to do to the to the piece or how it's going to make these look or like I said before if you come the other way I don't want to ruin this one my first one but um maybe on the next one throw it the other way or or bring it instead of coming coming out this way take it from here and go down and see what that does I don't know find out. Coming with the parting tool now. I think I'm gonna do well you know what I'm just gonna end it here that's uh, this one will be back on center and I'll make make the base okay and I'm not gonna put that on because I don't want it to pinch when it starts to come apart turn the speed back up Okay, I'm going to sand that. Okay, there we go. And I just I just sanded it to I think 220 or something. It's just a piece of poplar. I wasn't wasn't going to finish it. But the as you when you come out here, I put the teeth back in the same same spot every time when I threw it off center. So if you look out here, the the angle of the, the cut is much steeper than these ones back here that are off center too. And you can see how they're not even, you know, you line those up, they're not as off center as, as these ones up here. And I, so I think if you wanted them to match like that, being off center, you would need to move it a little bit more each time as you as you uh, as you got closer down here. You need to move the piece out. I believe this is my first one, so I'm just guessing that's what you need to do to get the these to match because th this is almost flat and these are at you know I don't know a 20 or 30 degree angle or something. But very fun, a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Just uh, 
when you start making that first cut off center, turn the lathe back off and make sure you're you're lined up on it, but it stands up and looks like it'll hold liquid, so that's a win in my book. All right, Mike, I, I did it. Uh, much easier than I thought it was gonna, gonna be. I uh, just turned the lathe off, off and on a few times to make sure I got that, got that cut right, but very fun. I can't wait to uh, do a box. I want to, I was thinking about it, as soon as I started doing it, taking a, making the shape for a box and throwing it off center, cutting into it a little bit, throwing it off center on you know all four jaws and then uh, put it straighten it back up and hollow it out so when you had it all hollowed out there'd be like little slices all over in it i thought that'd be a, be a cool idea but uh i got it and it stands up so <laughs> that's a plus but thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe